of which you have you have reper repercussion. Well, for instance, when you have repeated notes, and again, they occur on two basic pitches, C and F, for structural pitches. You get a dystrophy and a tristrophy, dot, dot, dash, dot, dash. And they, in Lowell, there's always a dot and a dash for a dystrophy. Tristrophy is dot, dot, dash. And maybe the last one, yeah, it's at 4 o'clock. Well, let's do it anyway, darn it. Uh, turn it to, to epiphany. And we're going to look at the uh, offertory, page 58, a lovely string of notes on Tarsus. Now, if you follow the Ward method, you are taught to count mentally off on those. So the Tristopho would be one, two, three, the dotted Virgo would be one, two, and then another three. So you get one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three but you would do it silently. And you would sing it then, Tarsis. Instead, they want you to do this, Tarsis. Try it. Tarsis. What have I done? Echo. Especially if I do the first one strong, Tarsis. It's the Grand Canyon Echo. Why? Because Tarsus is at the end of the world. It's way out west there, you know? And so there's an echo coming back. And of course, it's a theological statement about salvation Tarsus. goes all to the ends of the earth. Huh, even you people out there, you know. Talk about uh, tone painting, word painting. It's all there. And if you don't repercuss, you miss the whole point. <laughs>